Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome to our Thursday night live stream. And whatever, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just let God enter into your house. Let him enter through your phone screen, through your computer, and let's have church. Amen.
without him. Never go a day without him. Never go a day without him. He is mine. I am his. Oh, can you love him? Can you thank him? Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's good to be here on this, on this live stream. <laughs> well, I appreciate all the hard work. You know, we have went through a couple of months where uh, things have been very different. And no doubt we all have had a chance to pray with a, a different sense of urgency. We have demonstrated and felt great concern for people that we love. We've called it's caused us to pray for our country and maybe consider the condition of our heart. And as we approach this Sunday for Spring Ridge, it'll be our first service back in the building since the second week in March. And I know it's a holiday weekend and many people are going to be in taking advantage of an opportunity to spend time with their family on this holiday weekend. But for those of you that are going to be here in the Jackson area, I encourage you to join us at our Back back to Church Sunday. And we are expecting that the Lord is going to meet us. We are going to have a 9 o'clock service for those that are 65 and over and those that may feel, uh, want to be extra precautious, it will be a smaller group. And uh, our church family is making every precaution, cleaning, and uh, there will be face masks for those that don't bring one. I encourage you, if you'd like to have a face mask, bring one with you. And if you don't have one, we will provide one if, if you feel more comfortable that way. And so I encourage you, 9, nine o'clock for, for our elders and, and those that feel like they are more susceptible and then at 10.30, everyone else, we're going to have service. And so I encourage everyone, if the Lord has put it in your heart, uh, you, you, you kind of feel like David felt. He said, uh, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. That scripture is going to mean more than maybe it ever has before to me. And so join us this Sunday, 9 o'clock for 65 and above, and 10.30 for everyone else. And uh, let's, let's come together and be thankful that the Lord has kept us through this pandemic. And we will rejoice at what God's going to do. There are a lot of people that have been baptized over around the country. We've actually baptized a number here. And then there's some we've connected to in other states that, that wanted to get saved and get baptized. So we're expecting over the next month, the next two months, next three months, there are going to be a lot of people who are going to have personal revivals. They're going to begin to be faithful church attenders and bring in their family to church and teaching their children to pray. And these are great times. And so join us this Sunday for our Back to Church Sunday. 9 o'clock for the elders, 1030 for everyone else. I would just like to say thank you for everyone that's been supportive of the church. There's a link below. If you'd like to give, feel free to do that. And they're going to sing one more song. And I encourage you just to... If you haven't already done, just close your eyes and let's pray together. Father, we thank you today for your mercy, for your grace, for your help, for your protection. Lord, that you kept us. Lord, some no doubt have, have struggled in various ways, in various situations. But Lord, we're still here. There's still a, a, a beating heart. There's still breath in our lungs. There's still hope in our soul. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that you, oh God, would minister to Everyone watching tonight, we ask you, Lord Jesus, to do a great work in Jesus' name.
Oh 